Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take complex numbers that are in the traditional form, a plus bi, and convert them to polar form. And here's two simple examples. We have z equals i plus I, 1 plus i, and z equals the square root of 2 minus 5i. Remember that to find r, we take the square root of a squared plus b squared, and to find the angle, we take the arctangent of b over a. So here we're going to find r for the first example. r is going to be equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared, which is 1 squared plus 1 squared, and therefore that's equal to the square root of 2. To find the angle, theta is equal to the arctangent of b over a. b would be 1, a is 1, so it would be 1 over 1, which is equal to 45 degrees, which is equal to pi divided by 4. And now we're ready to write this number in polar form. We know the general formula is that z is going to be equal to r times the cosine of theta plus i times the sine of theta. So in this case, z can be written as r, which is the square root of 2, times the cosine of pi divided by 4 plus i times the sine of pi divided by 4. Now we'll do the same for the second example. So again, we need to find r. r is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. That would be the square root of 2 squared plus 5 squared, which is equal to 2 plus 25, or the square root of 27, which can be written as 3 times the square root of 3. And that define the angle. Theta is equal to the arctangent of b over a. b is a minus 5, and a is the square root of 2. It does matter that we use a negative in there because we could have the angle being below the imaginary, the, below the real axis or above the real axis, and so we want to make sure we put in the proper sign. Here, we don't care about the sign since we're squaring it anyway. All right, let's see what that's equal to. So we have 5 divided by the square root of 2, and then make that negative, and then take the inverse tangent of that, so we get minus 74.2 degrees. Which means that z can now be written, because the general format is r, times the cosine of theta plus i times the sine of theta. So this can be written as r, which is, where did we go? Right there. 3 times the square root of 3 times the cosine of a minus 74.2 degrees plus i times the sine of negative 74.2 degrees. Oop, and I guess we don't need to put parentheses around that. We probably want to put parentheses around the angle. All right, now. We could simplify this a little bit because the cosine of a negative angle is the same as the cosine of a positive angle. So this can be written as 3 times the square root of 3 times the cosine of a positive 74.2 degree angle. And here we realize that the sine of a negative angle is equal to negative the sine of the positive angle. So this could also be written as minus i times the sine of the positive angle 74.2 degrees. And notice that gives you really the exact same result. But to illustrate, we can write it both ways. And that's how we convert from a, from, well, that's how we convert from a normal form, z equals i plus bi, to a polar form. And that would then be the general form, z can be written as r times the cosine of theta plus i times the sine of theta. And that's how it's done.